Welcome back everyone. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is a video on my videos page. Um, it's tough. It's tough making videos. I'm, I'm going it alone. I have a lot of work to do. I can't just set up and edit and edit. And I know that's what you have to do to be successful, but I can think of something once the work is done. I've got, I've got plans, but uh, I'm doing a video today because over the weekend, I was walking in the woods and I found a blue tree. You can see that on my shorts page. It's awesome. Um, and while walking in the woods, you can see where I am. This is the southeast corner of my property. I've not been out here, not even as a kid. I found some lilies. Good rule of thumb. You find lilies, you find apple trees. There's a good chance. There's a better than zero chance that human beings have been here. Good lord. I'm going to get brained by acorns today. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that's a good chance humans were there. And if I needed some proof humans were here... I got this neat little piece of barbed wire <laughs> growing through a tree, which is leading me to investigate where I'm finding old fence posts. Where'd they run this way? That's that's the weird thing. They run this way because property right is run that way. So we're gonna go. I haven't walked around here yet, so we're doing we're doing this in one take. Ooh. More lilies. <laughs> okay, that's great. It kind of becomes a, a detective scene, a crime scene. So you got lilies there, and you got lilies there. Fence posts there. Now my hope. <laughs> so there's been a there's been someone on this property since like 1827-ish, and I've walked the woods all oh, again everything i've done has been mostly north side i've not been, really been in the woods in the uh in the south side we used to walk to friend's house through the woods and they live on the other side on the south side so i never really <laughs> came over here there's a lot to play in when you're a kid you just never got to it so we're gonna we're gonna Foot knocking or just another oak tree. Alright, and you can see people have been out here, right? Obviously. You see this? Hmm. All right. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll I'll pause it here. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't know. It's certainly lower ground, but I think that's natural. Uh, you know what I find weird about these woods is that there's no big rocks in them at all. Most of the Maine has big rocks in their woods. Big boulders and I've not seen one ever in here anywhere. 
I assume that must be a geological feature of living in. Excuse the fuck out of me. Living in the valley. Hmm. So anyway, I think what I'll do. Let's, let's pause you here. I wish I had brought that. Oh, I wish I had brought that stupid tripod selfie stick. I'm going to pause it here and start swinging this low area. Hmm. Mm, there's no reason to. I don't know. Let's keep walking. Let's keep walking. In, in the 1800s, a pastor lived here. And I'll tell you my favorite find. I moved here when I was 10. And all I did was play outside. I didn't even have ticks then. <laughs> it was great. Um, and, and so I, I think I've come across that I love being outdoors and I, I love this property especially. Um, when I started metal detecting, I metal detected a center corral and I found a, a large scent, a large penny from 1837. And it was shit, you know, it was toasted. I'm go this way. I could get a date off of it, but you know, it wasn't, it's not worth anything, but it's worth something because I played on this land forever, right? My, most of my life. 75. Hmm. Hmm. Hi. All right. That's a large scent. Someone remember that. Now this is a modern bottle. What the fuck is going on out here? No, it's not that modern. What do we got? <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, it's an old bottle, I think. Okay. Hmm. That could just be snowmobilers from the time gone by. Jeez, ah, I don't know what to make of that. You're just kind of with me. You're along with me. I'm doing a video. Uh, you're, you're listening to how my brain works here. I think what I'm going to do... Oh, the large scent. So I found this large scent, but the thought that someone, almost 200 years ago now, close enough, right? This is intriguing to me. Lost this penny where I grew up and played. And you lose a penny 200 years ago, like, your, your day's ruined, your week's ruined, right? And just the thing that's, you know, someone dropped it then for me to find 200 years later where I grew up is, I mean, I could find a pile of gold right here and I wouldn't be as happy as finding that large scent. I'd be pretty fucking happy, but a different happy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this. Might as well just start swinging. If I get any hits, anything at all, I'm going to, I'm going to turn the iron discrimination off if I get any hits at all I'll start filming again just a little update I'm, I've probably been detecting for uh, an hour not even a beep nothing nothing at all saw some mushrooms <laughs> uh, so we were over there when we started not gonna lie, I don't. I've been looking down. I'm kind of wandering in circles, so I don't know exactly where I am on the property. Uh, what time is it? All right. I need to go that way. Because 
the sun's there. <laughs> yeah, that way. All right. Well, I'm going to keep swinging. I'll let you know. And there you go. If you've made it to the end, thank you for watching. That's a large scent. You can tell. Considerably bigger than a penny. I should get a penny, shouldn't I? It's about the size of a United States half dollar. So yeah, that's my favorite find. Someone dropped it here, and I found it. But thank you for watching. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Tell your friends. Good night.